All right, everybody, we got a new friend joining us in class today. I want all of you on your best behavior and don't make fun of him. Uh, this is Neil. He's from the dead world. And um, he'll be joining us for the remainder of the month. Where are we going to put you, Neil? You want to go near Jack? I don't even know. I don't even know if you'll be seen in the shot. I take up a majority of all of it. How does that look? I mean, not bad. Not not that bad. It's a little freaky, though. Keep your mouth closed, please. Um, I guess that works. Sure, why not? I said keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Wild Review on the Wild Review. Welcome to night 23 of 31 Wild Halloween Review Nights. Well, I've gone this long without talking about Charlie Brown. Let's talk about some peanuts. It's time for the Great Pumpkin. Released in 1966, the Peanut characters return in their second holiday TV special. It's Halloween time and Linus is getting ready for the appearance of a character named the Great Pumpkin. Though he's looked on as crazy by his sister and friends, Linus, accompanied by Sally, choose to spend their Halloween night waiting in the pumpkin patch to see and greet the Great Pumpkin, while the other kids go trick-or-treating and have fun at a Halloween party. I don't think I need to spend an hour talking about this special. There's really not much that I need to say. I think we can all agree that the Peanuts stuff are classics. I gotta be honest though, when growing up, I did not watch Peanuts. I know, right? I just wasn't interested. I wasn't interested in the Charlie Brown story and Snoopy and everybody else. It really wasn't until about four or five years ago when I saw the Great Pumpkin ad on TV and was like, maybe I'll give it a try. And I watched it and I thought it was really funny. I thought it was cute and charming. Much like to everybody else, I smiled and enjoyed it. The one thing though I have to say I'm a little disappointed at is the fact that when it airs on ABC, it doesn't show the iconic football scene. You know, that one scene where Charlie Brown runs to kick the football and Lucy picks it up, Charlie Brown goes flying. I don't think I need to explain the scene to you. Everybody knows that scene. That's what most people associate Peanuts for. Yeah, that doesn't air in the special for some reason. We instantly go from Linus in the leaves with uh, a sucker and the leaves are sticking on his face to Linus writing to the Great Pumpkin. They cut that football scene out for some reason. I want to say that scene is in the Thanksgiving one. I could be wrong. I didn't grow up with the Thanksgiving one either, just letting you know. What I like about this special is just how innocent it is and how charming all the jokes are. Uh, I also have to keep in mind that this is from the 60s, so the humor is a little different. You know, some jokes can just kind of fly over somebody else's head. But, I mean, they're innocent stuff. Like, there's one bit with uh, Linus when he's writing to the Great Pumpkin. He's like, oh, there's three things I've learned never to talk about with people. Religion, politics, and the Great Pumpkin. There's also a joke made at the end uh, after Sally freaks out about the Great Pumpkin. Linus throws a joke in there to Charlie Brown. He's like, "You've heard of uh, a woman so and so, right?" And yeah, I don't, I don't know the, I don't remember the joke on top of my head. That's you know what I'm referring to. Now the jokes I like. I, I really enjoy, like, there's a running gag when the kids go trick-or-treating. You know, they're looking at it, they're like, oh, I got these bars, and oh, I got all these uh, Snickers. They, I don't think they said Snickers, but you get it. They, they say all the candy they got. What does Charlie Brown get? He gets a rock. I love how every house they go to, Charlie Brown just gets a rock for some reason. Why are you giving this poor child a rock? That's worse than getting pennies for Halloween. And yeah, people give out pennies. I got pennies for Halloween one year. It was weird. I think I got a full dollar in pennies. I don't know why this old woman gave me pennies. In the beginning, there's a cute scene with uh, Lucy and Linus. They go to retrieve a big pumpkin that Lucy has plans to carve, but Linus didn't realize they were going to carve it. So he starts getting all upset. He's like, oh, you didn't tell me we were going to kill him. The Halloween party was pretty funny. Uh, first with Charlie Brown getting all excited that he was invited to a Halloween party. Lucy is like, Charlie Brown, if you got an invitation, it was a mistake. Like, that's just horrible. And then at the Halloween party, they end up using Charlie Brown as a model. What they don't tell him is they need 
a model for how they can carve the pumpkin, the design that they're going to use. So they use his bald head. It's little stuff like that that really sticks out with these Peanut cartoons. I said it before, they're very charming, they're innocent, and they're fun to watch. And the holiday specials, they definitely get you into the spirit of the holidays. Whenever I watch The Great Pumpkin, I get those Halloween feelings, especially towards the ending. There's something about the end scene that really gets me into a holiday mood, and I guess that's because of the transition from October to November, because we all know that once Halloween month is over, once October is done with and November hits, it's full on like Thanksgiving or Christmas mode for most people. And I don't know, I guess that excitement that it's time to celebrate something else, that's how I feel when I watch this special and see that final scene. I'm weird like that. I guess it would be a sin if I didn't mention the Snoopy side of the story. I don't really have much to say about this, but I'll mention it uh, just so this way I mention it. Uh, Snoopy has a few scenes of his own where he's playing around in his costume. He's dressed up as a World War I flying ace, which is kind of his thing. That's like part of his character. He pretends that his doghouse is an airplane and he flies around. We, we saw that in the Peanuts movie that I ended up seeing a few years ago. I did a video on that if you want to check that out. Yeah, there are a few scenes where he's just kind of roaming around pretending he's in World War I. I thought those scenes were pretty cool. Great Pumpkin is very great. It's enjoyable. Uh, this is going up on the 23rd of October, so I'm not quite sure if they've already played it yet. They play it every year on ABC. Uh, so if you've already seen it, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've seen The Great Pumpkin, let me know if you enjoy it. Do you, do you enjoy the peanut holiday stuff? I've only seen the Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Halloween specials. I haven't seen any other ones. I know they got a Valentine's Day one, and I have no doubt that they have other holiday ones. Let me know if you uh, enjoy this one, or which peanut holiday special, or just TV special in general, do you enjoy the most? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't seen it yet, maybe look it up somewhere, maybe see if it's on demand. It's a great thing to watch around Halloween. It's a classic. If you've never seen it before, make this year your first year to check out The Great Pumpkin. And if you've missed that chance, well, there's always next year, young man. That's all I got for the Charlie Brown Halloween special. Join me tomorrow as we touch upon something completely different. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way or a joking way. I mean really different. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be probably a little different than how I've been going about with this series. Uh, we're going to talk about something very unique. I debated whether or not I would even talk about this special, but I can't argue that it hasn't had an impact on how Halloween is as a holiday when it comes to television specials. So you're just going to have to come back tomorrow and see how that goes. I don't even know how it's going to go. It might just be a big mess. But we'll find out. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching The Wild Review on The Wild Reviewer, and you just saw me review a thing.